Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing what some of the better value bets on the board today against the spread are for college basketball on December 14, 2016. Got about 10 matchups that we're going to be talking about in this particular video and if you're interested in knowing what games we're going to be talking about, I'll have them listed down in the video description. If you're interested in our bowl pick video series, you can head on over to our channel to access those videos as well as click that subscribe button to get notifications of when we release these pick videos in the future. And if you click that thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated and really helps us out. Uh, and if you're looking for more content just beyond what we talk about in this uh, college basketball video or college football videos, you can head on over to stumpthespread.com by clicking this logo in the top right hand corner if you're on desktop and if you're on some other kind of device, we'll also link Stump the Spread in the video description. Over at Stump the Spread, you can get our daily free play as well as our premium picks across all major American sports, including the NFL, college football, NBA, college basketball, and the NHL, which are all in season right now. Really great time of year to be a sports fan. A lot of um, you know particular leagues are in season right now. Getting started with today's action, we're going to be talking about Louisiana Lafayette against Georgia. The Cajuns opened up the year losing two straight on the road against Minnesota and Montana State. They were competitive losses, but um, not a great start for them in terms of what we've seen out of this group lately. They've rallied off eight wins in a row, including a really solid showing in their last outing as they went on to beat uh, Louisiana Tech in what was... I believe the fourth straight game that the Cajuns were able to score over 90 points. The Cajuns have really been putting up a lot of numbers on the offensive side of the ball, and they've been building a lot of confidence and momentum on the offensive end, and it'll be interesting to see how that carries over into this matchup against a Georgia team that has shown some good defensive performances this year, but then again, in their last outing, Georgia was really throttled by Marquette at home as they went on to lose that one by a final of 79-89. to This is a Georgia squad that was hoping to put together a non-conference resume to really build up their RPI, but they've fallen short in a number of their tougher matchups. Like in their last outing, they fell to Marquette. They also lost on the road against Clemson, and they also were beaten pretty well by Kansas um, not that long ago, so... Georgia not really building up their non-conference RPI all that well, and it's going to be tough for this group to battle for an at-large berth into the NCAA tournament. That was really the ultimate goal of this squad this year, and the SEC as a whole is probably not going to get that many teams into the NCAA tournament this season, and Georgia was hoping to be one of those teams, but based on what we've been seeing out of the Bulldogs right now, that's uh, probably not going to happen. We'll see. This might be more of an NIT squad. Uh, Mayton has been really developing well. He's averaging over 20 points per game for Georgia, but um, it's going to be interesting to see how this group handles this Louisiana Lafayette offense that's really shown that they can put up a lot of numbers, and they really like to push the pace of play while Georgia will look, will look to get things more in the half court and slow things down. Uh, this spread has shrunk a little bit, but even getting the 8.5 to 9 points, we do like Louisiana Lafayette quite a bit here, uh, taking the points as the better value bet. Moving on to St. John's against Princeton, uh, not St. John's, St. Joseph's, excuse me. The Hawks have opened 4-4 four and four overall, winning their four games against more manageable competition, while their four defeats have come against actually some pretty quality uh, opposition. This is going to be another good test for the Hawks as they go on the road to face a veteran Princeton group. This Princeton squad is the preseason favorite to win the Ivy League. They should get some good tests from some of the teams in that league, but... The non-conference really doesn't mean all that much to Ivy League squads as they just need to win their conference regular season title to get that automatic berth into the NCAA tournament. Uh, Princeton returns pretty much everyone from last year's group that had quite a bit of success. Princeton hasn't gotten off to as good of a start as we were expecting them to have this year, standing 4-4 four and four overall, and Princeton again didn't look all that great in their last outing. We expect this to be a little bit more competitive than what the odds makers have it at, and it, a lot of this has to do with the fact that Princeton hasn't been playing up to their expectations thus far. We need to see a lot more from this Princeton group before we take them giving this many points against uh, moderate competition. So we like the Hawks here getting the 8.5 points as a pretty solid value bet taking St. Joseph's. All right, moving on to Western Kentucky against St. Mary's. Western Kentucky, they'll bring in a lot of transfer talent next year, and we really are going to be looking out for this group next year. And, it, you know, this year's team probably doesn't have quite the makeup to push for the Conference USA title, but still a team that has the ability to win more games than they lose in conference play. Western Kentucky got off to a really slow start this year, and their offense has 
had a tough time finding consistency, but in their last outing, the Hilltoppers looked really strong as they actually went on to really blow out Indiana State on the road in what was the best result of the year thus far for Western Kentucky. The Hilltoppers will look to build off of the confidence and momentum from that win against a pretty solid Indiana State squad as they go on the road again here today, uh, taking on St. Mary's, who's one of the best. Um, I, I don't even know if you can call it them a mid-major they do play in a mid-major conference but St. Mary's has been consistently solid over the last you know five ten years or so uh, this team brings back pretty much everyone from last year's team that went to the NIT uh, I feel like last year's team should have made the NCAA tournament but the committee really dinged this squad for not having a strong non-conference strength of schedule St. Mary's has beefed things up a little bit this year they have picked up wins you know on the road against like Dayton Stanford and even their opening win against Nevada is a pretty nice RPI win for them. This should be a manageable game for St. Mary's, but, you know, surprisingly, about a week ago, the Gales fell in a blowout loss at home against UT Arlington in a game that they were favored actually by, I don't know, it was like 17 or 18 points in that particular matchup. But the Gales were able to bounce back in their last outing as they went on to blow out UC Irvine, who's really been struggling. Um, this is a game that the Gales definitely are going to win on their home court. But given the fact that Western Kentucky looked so great in their last outing and they're bringing some confidence and momentum in this one, we feel like the Hilltoppers can at least keep things respectable. And getting the 21 points, we feel like Western Kentucky is a pretty nice bet here. UC Irvine against Nevada. This is a UC Irvine basketball program that's really performed quite well over in the Big West in recent years. But this Anteaters group is probably going to take quite a bit of a step back this year, given the fact that they only returned one starter from last year's team, and Luke Nelson is that one starter, and he's out. So UC Irvine's really been struggling as of late, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, the Anteaters will have another tough test here today, going on the road against a pretty strong Nevada group. This is a Nevada team coming into the year that, is one of the picks to potentially push for the conference title, especially with what we've been seeing out of teams like, you know, San Diego State, Utah State, New Mexico, and some of the other um, better teams in the Mountain West Conference haven't looked all that great in the non-conference, so Nevada is definitely primed to make a run and uh, push for that conference regular season title. Elijah Foster being out hurts Nevada a bit, but, uh, you know, they have Missouri State transfer Marcus Marshall who's averaging 20 points per game and has really made an instant impact for this group. Behind their home court advantage, we do feel like Nevada giving the points here is a pretty solid bet in this one. UC Santa Barbara against UCLA. UCSB has gotten off to a really slow start this year, just picking up one win thus far, and obviously things don't get any easier as they go on the road to face UCLA. Earlier in the non-conference, uh, the Gauchos were blown out on the road against another Pac-12 opponent, USC, who's not uh, even quite to the level of UCLA or what we've seen out of the Bruins so far this year. And UCSB has had their struggles really on both sides of the ball, both on offense and defense. UCLA came through for us the other day as a premium play as they went on to thoroughly beat Michigan. And that was a really impressive result for the Bruins as they almost couldn't miss on the offensive end. Uh, even Michigan was having quite a bit of success, um, especially be beyond the arc, making a lot of threes. But UCLA was able to just, you know, not cool off the entire game as they went on to score over 100 points in that convincing win for them in the end really great resume building win there for UCLA and you know even coming off a result like that we do expect UCLA to remain focused um, and put up a bunch of offensive numbers again today in a game that's probably going to be pretty high scoring again for the Bruins on their home court uh, giving the 28 points feels like a you know it's obviously a large number but just given the struggles we've seen out of UCSB this year, we do feel pretty confident in UCLA going on to cover this spread. And if UCLA brings in the right mindset and effort, this is you know, the kind of spread that they could cover by early in the second half. So it's just going to be interesting to see how things shake out for the Bruins in this one. But we do like them giving the points here. Niagara and Youngstown State, this is a Niagara group that's picked to finish more in the lower portion of the MAAC this year. Uh, they're going on the road here against Youngstown State, who is a team that really likes to push the pace of play. This is probably going to be a higher scoring affair. Uh, Youngstown State can be pretty lethal on their home court, uh, especially when they get their offense rolling. 
for instance, in their home opener, I watched their game against Akron, and it was just really impressive. Youngstown State was down by double digits in that one, and they just went on to build a ton of momentum in the second half as they went on to beat Akron in that particular matchup. And that's an Akron squad that's uh, the favorites to win the MAC conference this year. So the Penguins have shown the ability to really put up some solid results on the offensive end and behind their home court advantage. We do like them giving the four and a half points here as a nice value bet. Middle Tennessee State against Belmont, a game that's probably going to get overlooked today, but a really interesting matchup. We have Middle Tennessee State, who, you know, everyone knows them from win winning in the NCAA tournament last year in the first round against Michigan State. They bring back a good portion of the talent from that group and really a team that can be even better than last year's squad. And, you know, we see Middle Tennessee State pushing for a spot in the NCAA tournament again this year. They've opened the year 9-1 and one overall, and the Blue Raiders completely dominated in their last outing as they went on to just completely blow out Vanderbilt at home in a game that uh, Vegas had set as nearly a pick -em. I think Middle Tennessee State was about two-point favorites or something like that. But, again, a really impressive result for them. Uh, really picked up a lot of confidence and momentum for that one as they head into this test on the road against Belmont. The Belmont Bruins are picked to finish in the upper tier of the OVC this season, but surprisingly, Belmont hasn't been as dominant on the offensive side of the ball as we typically see out of this program. Uh, we think a lot of that has to do with the fact that Craig Bradshaw moved on this past offseason, and that's had an effect on this offense's ability to put up consistent numbers. They still have Evan Brads at the forward position, who's really been carrying this offense thus far, but... Belmont just hasn't been putting up the kind of offensive numbers that we typically see out of this program. Uh, just given the fact that Middle Tennessee State has been playing really solid ball as of late, we do like them on the road here, giving the points against the in-state foe Belmont. That's a pretty solid bet. Moving on to Arkansas State against UT Martin, another game that's going to fly under the radar a bit today, but both of these teams have gotten off to really strong starts. Arkansas State has shown that they can win on the road. In particular, their win at Georgetown was really impressive. And this is a Red Wolves team that also has a win against Chattanooga, and that's a Chattanooga squad that's picked to win the Southern Conference this year. So another really nice win for them. They stand 7-2 and two overall, but they are coming off their worst results of the regular season, getting blown out on the road in their last outing against TCU. Not a great result for the Red Wolves in that one, but they'll try to be bouncing back here on the road against UT Martin. The Skyhawks stand 8-3 and three overall right now, and they're also coming off their worst defeat of the regular season as they were blown out in their last outing on the road against Illinois State. UT Martin brings a little bit more pop on the offensive side of the ball, while Arkansas is definitely the better defense in this particular matchup. We do like the Red Wolves to kind of slow down this UT Martin attack and lean on their defense as they go on to win and cover this small spread on the road. Oral Roberts and Missouri State, this is a Oral Roberts team that's probably going to finish more in the lower tier uh, of their conference this season over in the Summit. Um, you know, Oral Roberts hasn't been having much success this year, and they have fallen in a number of blowouts. Uh, you know, this is a fairly fair spread for them to get, but it has shifted up, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that Missouri State can be pretty dangerous on their home court. Uh, Missouri State was nearly able to upset Valpo in their last outing at home in a game that really could have gone either way down the stretch. Valpo won that particular matchup uh, right at the end on a buzzer beater, uh, which was really unfor unfortunate. Well, it wasn't quite a buzzer beater, but it was a basket made in the final about 20 seconds or so. Uh, Missouri State unfortunately fell on that one, even though they did have decent control in the second half during that matchup before kind of surrendering things in the end. Um, Missouri State is better than their record would suggest, and they have a pretty strong home court advantage. It's not quite as good this time of the year, mid-December, but this is a Missouri State squad that can really light up the scoreboard. They have a number of strong uh, perimeter shooters that should be able to take advantage of this uh, Oral Roberts defense, so we do like Missouri State here giving the points as a pretty nice bet. And we just have one more game that we want to talk about in this video, and that's going to be East Tennessee State against Mississippi State. East Tennessee State is another one of those teams that brings back quite a bit of veteran talent from last year's squad that found success, and they also bring online some really nice transfer talent, for instance. Uh, they got Mascara Perea from Indiana and Glass from Wichita State, who have really added some nice depth and talent to this uh, unit overall. East Tennessee State is picked to finish near the top of the Southern Conference and even compete for the regular season title. For them to do that, East Tennessee State's going to have to be better on the road so far this season. East Tennessee State's undefeated at home, but they're 0-2 on the road, losing at UNC Wilmington and Dayton, who are both quality opponents, but still 
Uh, the Buccaneers would have liked to at least have better showing on the offensive side of the ball in those particular defeats, and they'll get another chance to do that here going on the road against Mississippi State as this ETSU squad continues to try to build themselves up and harden themselves to that road atmosphere. Mississippi State continues their rebuild project under head coach Ben Holland, who's bringing in his guys to implement his system. Mississippi State has fallen in some of their tougher matchups this year, but in their last outing, the Bulldogs look really strong as they went on to throttle Georgia State at home. This should be a pretty competitive matchup, and we actually feel like East Tennessee State has a chance to pull out this win. And just this East Tennessee State roster overall and experience um, can really matter for something in a matchup like this against a uh, you know Mississippi State squad that's continuing to be a work in progress over there. Um, we do like ETSU here getting the points, which should be a pretty competitive matchup as a solid value bet. And that pretty much does it for the games that we wanted to talk about for matchups today on December 14th, 2016. Uh, potentially some of the better bets against the spread for today's action. A lot of games to choose from compared to some of the other recent days that we've had where there hasn't been all that many games to choose from. And days like this when there's you know, more matchups to choose from, you can get uh, some better value against the spread. Again, if you're interested in our uh, bowl series uh, and college football videos, you can head on over to our channel or click that subscribe button. And if you can get, click that thumbs up, it is greatly appreciated and really helps us out. And you can also head over to stumpthespread.com to get our daily free play as well as our premium content across all major American sports. That pretty much does it for this video. So thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.